Let's talk about feet. Feet need to breathe. Feet have inherent motion. 31 bones, 33 joints, each one meant to move. If you're slamming your foot with an orthotic, something's wrong with the rest of the movement system. It's probably not about the feet even though the feet are bothering you. I have something coming up later on in this video to show you how to help with plantar fasciitis pain. This next thing is not for that. This is to help you get your feet to breathe. You'll notice in the model, it's got the ability to handle all kinds of diverse motion. This is a foot. So the technique I want to teach you, it's really simple. Get a soft, squishy ball. This is called a high bounce pinky ball. Highly recommend it. Costs about five bucks online. Seems crazy for a little ball yet, right? But it's just perfect. And you're gonna place this ball under what is often the most immobile part of the foot and it's going to be just behind the fifth metatarsal bone that's this here so this is the pinky toe and here's the sticky outy bit where the fifth metatarsal bone comes back and there's a little bone right here called the cuboid bone doesn't matter if you get it perfect so your ball will be back just in front of the heel. So let's try it. Now notice I'm not having you try to rub out the plantar fascia. That's usually not a good idea, especially if you've plantar fasciitis. Do not grind on a plantar fasciitis. Sometimes I will do that therapeutically very specifically not a great idea usually settle the weight on the ball and rate and wait and rest i add a little bit of motion kind of like a little figure eight Notice that both knees are slightly bent. That's to try to equalize coming up into the hip. And after I've done this for a bit, I take my foot off the ball and just check. It should feel more relaxed. It should feel more supportive without working on being supportive. Okay, let's look at the next exercise that I want to give you. Plantar fasciitis, as I mentioned before, is a failure in the movement system, which causes you to overwork in the plantar fascia. It's getting overstretched. And when it's overstretched, it can literally pull away from the bone a little bit, cause an injury. So as you might imagine, if you've got a little injury on the bone, not a great idea to just hammer it. It needs to heal. Sometimes it's not healing well, then I will go in and work it. But first, try this. So this is an appropriate exercise for the calf muscle using lengthening with load. Most of you, if you have kids who are in dance classes, it's irrelevant, but it's a slow fondue. It's a slow lowering. Okay. So do this on a stair step. You gotta come up on two feet and slowly down on one. So we put the work on the descent. 
up on two, down on one. So here's a little refinement. As you come up, gently bring your belly button towards your spine. Lowering down. Let's try it slightly differently. Knees only slightly bent. As you can see, we don't want to be here. That ends up with the knees way in front of the toes. That's not something we want to train in to your body. Okay, so my knees are slightly bent. My heels are lifted. Up on two. Down on one. Up on two. Down on one. So, if you practice that over a period of weeks, the calf muscle will start to learn to lengthen appropriately. You'll stretch it out also, which is another thing that you could do for plantar fasciitis, stretch your calf muscle, right? But I like this better. This is a stretch with load. Okay, there's a lot of things to say about feet. Boys are a lot, and I said a mean one in the very beginning. Um, orthotics tend to cause more problems than they help. Some people have to wear orthotics. Most people, if you get your calves working better, your thighs and hamstrings working better, your hips working better, the muscles in your back working better. The issue that the orthotics are meant to help, it goes away. Okay, try it out. Thanks.